What's up, everyone? Happy Memorial Day. Didn't think I was going to bail on you today. One day left. One more ride. Finishing this journey. Day 364. And we're down here in Long Beach at the boardwalk. Because why not kick off summer? The unofficial start of summer, Memorial Day, down here in Long Beach. The beach. And um, I got your message of the day. So today was a rather long day. Woke up in the Hamptons this morning and uh, got up early and packed everything up and hooked the jet ski up and uh, blasted home. I had to get home at 9 o'clock, grab my son, and uh, go over to Memorial Day Parade. Uh, walk with the uh, march, I should say, with the Little League and uh, all the kids and everything. And uh, my son was insistent on carrying the American flag. It was pretty cool. So I carry a flag in the back of my pickup so I can go full-blown redneck and uh, put the flag out the back when we're driving on the beach and whatnot. And uh, I got a special holder made for it. So he was insisting on carrying a flag. Uh, we actually jumped out of the truck. We went to meet everybody. Actually, we jumped out of the truck. We had breakfast. And he's like, Dad, we got to get the flag. So we ran back to the truck. We got the flag. And he carried the flag through the whole parade. But uh, towards the end of the parade, he came over to me. He said, Dad, this flag's getting heavy. Can you carry it? And I said, Joe, it's this Memorial Day. I said, people gave their lives for that flag. Uh, you can carry it the rest of the parade, tough it out. And um, he didn't really know what to say, um, but it really puts in perspective stuff that we uh, think is hard and we try and give up on. People gave their lives for our freedom, for that flag. Pretty wild to think about. So he carried the flag the rest of the way. And uh, basically a uh, small token uh, to pay for uh, all those that um, have gone before us. Finished carrying the flag through the whole parade route. Not giving up, not surrendering. Um, it was kind of a cool thing, cool thing. It was really cool that he wanted to carry the parade. He was the only kid in the parade in the uh, Little League section carrying a big parade, big flag, uh, carrying it high and, and proud. Um, definitely proud dad moment. Um, but yeah, it was also a teaching lesson. It was also a learning lesson. Um, you know, when you commit to carrying that flag, you carry that flag. When people commit to uh, be in the armed services and commit to this country, they commit to this country. Um, just think about that. I just, I really find it amazing how people commit their lives to this country, join the Army, the Air Force, the Navy, the Marines, Coast Guard, uh, police, fire, uh, EMS, all these people that put their lives on the line for their fellow man. Um, for those that gave their lives for the freedom of this country, that we can do whatever we want, whenever we want, for the most part. We won't get into politics, but uh, still the greatest country in the world. And uh, that's it. So Memorial Day, my son carried the flag the whole way in the parade. Even when he was tired and wanted to give up, he carried on. I pushed him through. And um, then we finished up the parade. And I went home and decided that uh, we're going to take the jet ski out. And believe it or not, Joey didn't want to go on a jet ski because I think I scared him. He wasn't out last year. Two years ago, he was out. And I guess we were jumping waves. And I guess he was a little scared. He was a little younger. I'm not really sure what. But he wasn't really interested in it. But the baby was. And uh, Nicole was. And Jenna was. So we squeezed the three of them on a jet ski. And uh, we just went out in the bay. We we're blasting around. Oh, yeah. And the baby convinced me to go to Scoops. I don't know if you saw that uh, post I did earlier. The baby convinced me to go to Scoops before we went out on a jet ski. So we had to go get scoops, go see the uh, buddy Jeff Satali over there, great dude. And so we had ice cream, then we went on a jet ski, spent the afternoon on a jet ski, broke the jet ski, I don't know, got something wrong with it, it's cavitating. But we managed to make it to Lazy Lobster, listened to the band, had lunch, dinner-ish with the kids, with some of the kids, and then took the jet ski home and brought it home, cleaned it all up, 
And here it is, 10 o'clock at night, I'm doing my ride. The 364th ride, 364 message. And um, yeah, it's been a hell of a journey. One more day tomorrow. Anyway, let's jump on prayers here. What's that? Go ahead, huh? Crazy people on the boardwalk at night. Guy wants to ask if it's alright if he takes a piss over there. Alright, sure, go ahead. Really random. Anyway. <laughs> now it's time to say prayers because this world's going crazy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Bless thy heart, and the Lord is with thee. Holy Mary, Holy Mary, Holy Mary, God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Is that what we shall be? Glory be to God. Amen. Dear God, I look over all those families and all those men and women that uh, gave their lives and continue to fight for our country. Um, give them the strength and the courage to keep going and give their families the support to uh, carry on without them as they've passed. Uh, amazing stuff, amazing stuff. God bless, God bless. All right, everyone. So you got your message of the day. Um, when you commit to something, you commit all the way. And uh, carry that flag high and proud. God bless America. Everyone, put your head on a pillow every night. Knowing when you make the world a better place, fire starts fire. One more day, day 365 tomorrow. It's going to be a good one. Everyone, God bless. Have a great night.